Hey guys, it's Morgan at Vintage and Bloom. I'm here in the shop today with Diane. She's working on stencils. I don't think they can see you, Diane, but that's okay. That's all right. I didn't want you to be on there and not know. Um, anyway, so I'm finishing up a dresser that I started before I went to Florida. Um, we painted this piece, this green color here was the 5050 Amsterdam green and Greek blue that we uh, talked about uh, last Two, well, I guess it was two weeks ago last when Adrian and I did the live color mixing and I said I have a piece in mind for this well this is the piece um, we painted it this color and then we decided to do one of the IOD transfers on it that we had in the shop our order hasn't come in yet but um, it will next week hopefully so um, I painted it that color and Adrian kept telling me you're gonna put that transfer on there you're not gonna be able to see it you're not gonna be able to see it and she was right. I just wanted it to be subtle, but you really couldn't see it at all. So um, I decided to go come, go ahead and start doing a wash over it um, so that hopefully it was gonna pull out the transfer and it actually worked. Diane and I were both surprised by how well it worked. So um, I just wanted to jump on here real quick and show you guys when we talk about doing washes, what that means. So um, I already mixed up in my bowl here. This is uh, the color that we're putting over it is a mix of Paris gray. It's mostly Paris gray and a little bit of old white in it just to kind of lighten it up a little bit and then i just put water in it and you probably can't really tell it's much thinner than you know the regular chalk paint is <clears throat> out of a can you'll want to water it down pretty 50 50 i would say uh, i didn't measure i just kind of did it so um then you're gonna we just use these little chip brushes for this because they i think they work kind of better than any of the other round brushes that we have so all i did was I have paper towels handy. You're gonna brush, handy, that means get them off the roll. Brush on, do a little bits at a time, and kind of just, it doesn't have to be full coverage. It's gonna look like that, and you're gonna think, what did I do? Because that's what I thought when I did it. And then just go ahead and start wiping it. Uh, you'll wanna mostly stay with the grain of the wood or you know, in one direction, whatever direction you're wiping and flip to clean sides to take off what you can. And it really did kind of help to bring out the transfer itself. And I am really digging it. So I think we have a before picture of this piece. It was like, again, it was a piece that was in my um, closet that I was using for my clothes. Um, but we decided to kind of give it a new life here in the shop and be our spokesperson for our IOD when it comes in. But then it looked like this and we were like, oh, that's not really a good sales, you know. <laughs> no one's going to want to buy that stuff. So, but now I think this is really what it needed. So um, I'm going to have to wax. There she is. You see Diane? She just walked by. Uh, we're going to have to wax this again. Um, I did wax it before I put the wash over it. Um, that was another trick that we kind of learned, that I kind of learned when I was in Cleveland, uh, to wax between your washes. It'll give you some more time to work with it. As you can see, I did have a little bit, I still have time. I can still keep wiping if I want to. So, um, again, hopefully next week we'll have the IODs in the shop. Uh, this piece will be finished today because that's, you know, I have a little bit of time now. So I'm going to do that and I um, hope to see you guys soon. We're here 11 to 6 tonight, uh, 11 to 6 Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So see you guys soon.